Welcome to driver training here at Marseille. Today you'll be learning to drive this SNCF Series 200 TGV duplex in Camion livery. This brief introduction will cover critical driving controls and passenger operations, so climb aboard to get started. Take a seat in the driver's position because this is where you'll be spending most of your time. To begin, you will need to press the service retention in normal operation, this unit draws electricity from the overhead catenary via a pantograph. However, since the pantograph is currently in the down position, you have to power the initial systems by... Pr to activate the control desk, set the master switch to active. Now activate the pantograph using the normal and DC positions on the different rotary switches so that it raises up and makes contact with the overhead catenary. The DC setting should be used in the area of Marseille. The LGV setting should be used outside of Marseille. And the AC setting is used in other AC overhead line areas. The circuit breaker will need to be set to allow power to reach the entire train. Now that the circuit breaker has been set, it will need to be armed. Use the Lighting is automatically set when enabling the master switch, but make sure you use the low beam lights when passing other trains so as not to blind oncoming drivers. Take a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the doors. Next, you need to do the brake test. This ensures that all the brakes are working correctly before you set off. First, press the brake hold button to hold the lead power car brakes into their current state. And now press the emergency brake button. You'll see the... Use the brake neutral switch to disable the brake lever, which will display the blue light indicating that the release portion of your brake lever is now disabled. You can now re-engage the brake control by using the brake neutral switch and confirm that the blue light now goes out. Now that you've tested the emergency brake, you'll test normal brake operations. Then hold the train brake in the release position to raise the brake pipe to 5 bar. Hold the train brake control in apply until the brake pipe reads around 4 bar. And that's the brake system fully tested. The reverser is used to set the direction of travel.
There are three driving modes on the TGV. Coupling and uncoupling. The speed is limited in this mode and is intended for coupling maneuvers. Manual control. This is usual mode for driving on classic lines. And selected speed. This uses the speed selector control and is used by the driver on high speed lines to set the maximum cruise speed. To get started now, select the manual control mode as you are on the classic lines. It's time to get going. Set the doors to locked. For this introduction, you'll be driving as far as Aix-en-Provence. Finally, press the brake hold button and you should see the yellow light go out and hold the train brake in the release position to release the brakes. The train is now ready to pop. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce engine stress and maintenance requirements. Keeping to the speed limit is important. If you begin to overspeed, hold the brake lever into the applied position to slow down.
You're approaching the voltage changeover area and need to change the voltage on the train in order to continue. You'll do this without stopping the train. Open and then close. Lower the pantograph by moving the switch to the lower position. Change the pantograph mode switch. When your cab passes the REV board, this means that the rear of your train has passed the voltage changeover area and you can... When the arm breaker symbol illuminates, rearm the circuit breaker. This means you can now increase power up to the indicated speed on the TVM display. Nicely done, you're in good shape to continue the journey. You're now approaching Aix-en-Provence, so apply a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable, safe stop.
Good work. That concludes all the basics of operating this train.